This video is sponsored by Best Buy. Have you ever wondered how well those cool products on TikTok you see actually work? Well, we bought 10 viral products to see if they're worth it. And I have no idea what to expect, so let's check them out. So first up, we have the BevLedge. So this is designed to go on the window, if you have a window seat. So it's like a bring your own tray table. I mean, I like the name, BevLedge. Let's see the video. It looks a little hard to slide in there. Are, are yeah. window sizes on planes universal? I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. So <laughs> they are not. So it says on oh. their site that it should fit the most common window sizing. So it's not like 100% useful all the time, but yeah, I'm interested to see if it would even fit nicely in there. So it goes like this. Oh my gosh, there's all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's Glasses, so much stuff. headphones. Yeah, hat. so. It's like a desk I'll caddy. hold it solid. And so this. if you have like a cup, that's wow. kind of nice. It fits, it feels yeah, secure. I got it. They also have a slot for um, sunglasses and for headphones. They say you can take your individual AirPods out and stick them Why? here to store them. Why? I have no idea <laughs> in what world you would want to do that. And then you lose them and to then the you people knock, behind you. Yeah, then yeah. you knock them off. Hoarded? And then there's also this to hold your phone, which is kind of nice, I got guess. got turbulence, coffee on your lens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're like Niche. playing Nintendo Switch on your tray table or you're working with your big laptop in your tray table, mm -hmm. you want to put your beverage to the side, you're sitting in a window, all niche stuff. No. So would you buy? No. No. Personally. This next product is from our sponsor, Aura Ring from Best Buy. You might have already seen this if you're following health and fitness channels. I've been using it for the past two weeks and it's been a game changer. I really like it. It tracks my energy and stress levels so I can improve my health and I love digging into sleep insights and my readiness score. It's amazing how often it actually matches how I feel for the day too. It's like uncanny. Since it measures my heart rate, blood oxygen, sleep, and activity right on my finger, it's much more accurate than my Apple Watch, which can slip around during the day. And it doesn't buzz or light up to disturb my sleep. Plus, it's more comfortable to wear to bed, so I have it on pretty much all the time, except for when I'm showering, which is when I pop it on the charger. It's easy to set up and comes with a free one-month membership trial. If you're looking for a unique gift this holiday season, order the Aura Ring Sizing Kit, along with a Best Buy gift card for your loved one, using the link down in the description below. The cost will go toward the ring purchase, or you can get sized in store for free. And head to the deals page over on our website for offers from all of our sponsors. All right, what is this? Looks like a backpack or a We're sling. It's a backpack. It's a backpack that mm -hmm. folds up. What is so special about this bag, Lauren? So the TikTok that went viral with this has over 4 million views and people in the comments are raving about it. So we'll have to take a closer look to okay. find out. This video is to convince you to buy the best travel bag in the entire world. Every single pocket is completely waterproof. No. The main no. pocket of the bag opens up like a suitcase yes. and has yeah. so many hidden pockets inside. The Isn't inside compartment internal, also internal holds so much and I got matching packing cubes. That Speaking like of hidden compartments, this is the part that goes on your back that so you can put cool. valuable stuff in there. Just There's also a strap that there. latches right onto your suitcase which is the best and so helpful nice at the airport. Passes, it can also sure. charge your phone. And Okay, anytime I see one of these USB things, I just feel like it's like 2007. I'm seeing SBS zippers. If you watch this channel, YKK is the best brand that we see on a lot of premium bags, mm -hmm. unbranded buckles. Yeah. What's the material? It's like a polyester. They don't say. They don't say. They it's don't say what the material is. Yeah. Quick rant on waterproof pockets. This is something people get wrong all the time. There's mm -hmm. no way you can have a waterproof pocket if you have a traditional zipper like this. You need a very specific waterproof zipper, not even a YKK AquaGuard, but one that actually seals, or you need the top to roll down multiple times and buckle it, it has to be airtight. So maybe they have weatherproof materials. I'm not seeing any you know, evidence of waterproof materials here, mm -hmm. but certainly pockets with a regular zipper are not waterproof. Yeah, they do say that this pocket is waterproof, but it's okay. a waterproof materials. It's like a Waterproof like, materials. Look at that specific. when you're buying a bag. They will say it on every single product page on every site. If they say waterproof materials, that does not mean waterproof. All right, let's see what we can actually fit inside of this thing. I mean, you put shoes in here, it's just gonna eat into the main compartment. I can already see, like, look at this shoe pocket. It goes yeah. so far up. And then when she opens it on the TikTok, it's magically, like, opened here. Um, okay, so no false bottom. Basically, that means your laptop's gonna be right to the bottom of this, which is never good. The best brands will have, like, a little hammock, so your laptop is a little elevated, so if you drop your bag, the side of your laptop doesn't slam into the ground. Handle's nice though. Let's test this on some luggage. That works just fine. 
Would you buy it? Absolutely not. I've reviewed, <laughs> I had my hands on thousands of bags since 2017. I mean, no. I don't even know if we'd review this. Do you think we would? I mean, maybe we should so people know. All right, I want you to tell me what this is. I know what this is though. I think I've seen this before actually. Mm. I think it's so you hold your backpack against your luggage, right? Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's fairly I mean, straightforward, right? Yeah, that's cool. You throw your like, I mean, mm -hmm. I like the idea of this personally. Yeah, like, I do too. I mean, this buckle is super heavy duty. Cincha. But does it work? Does it work? Let's try. So this one has a luggage pass through as we know, but let's say theoretically it doesn't. Yeah. Cincha. I mean, the buckle, yeah. I mean, there you go. Let's say we wanted to throw an additional layer on there like she did. Just pop it in. Let's do that. There we go. And yeah. There we go. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I like right? the idea of this, actually. I mean, this is nice. The thing I like about this is it's like completely locked in. But yeah, this is this is key right here, like draping like a layer over it. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So the question is, would you buy it? Yes, with the caveat of I'm a one bag traveler, typically. Yeah, I think I'm the same. It's functional, but not for me at the moment. I actually <laughs> am curious what you think this is. Uh, some clear see-through plastic. Is it like packing cubes, a garment bag? Okay, let's look at the TikTok. Last up is plastic luggage covers. I was never a luggage cover girl until I used it on this trip to San Francisco luggage for the first girl. time, and this is what my luggage looks like when I picked it up. So now I use I mean, it for every single yeah. one of my bags. For me personally, I don't know. Like, it, it reminds me of... You know when you like wrap your luggage at an international airport, they have those stands? Yeah. That's like more of a security thing though, right? Yeah. So people like can't get inside. With this, I am curious if when TSA, if they are security, if they need to get into your bag. Oh, what are they doing? Yeah. What are they doing? Because for the most part, like if it's covered, are they just gonna like cut through this? Granted, it's not like you're gonna be breaking the bank buying this. Yeah. All right, so let's test it out. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. So this here, they say to make sure that you put it on the side with your handle. Obviously, that's the only thing wrong with this right oh, now. Geez. Everything else is perfect. <laughs> you have to make sure that you really do your measuring before you buy this, which they do make a point to say. Yeah, so this one here, it actually won't fit with this one with the side handle because the side handle's on this side, but the way these top holes are aligned is so that the telescoping handle is on the back. Works for some, maybe not all. So the question is, would you buy this? No, bags, luggage of any of the sort are meant to protect what's inside of it. You shouldn't need to also protect your luggage. This reminds me of like a band that I'm gonna put on to get my blood pressure checked. <gasps> it does look yeah. like that. Oh, is this the cup holder that we were talking about earlier? Amazon Travel Essential, you need. Okay. Bottle water, I mean, that's probably gonna fall out. That makes me nervous. Yeah, I mean, AirPods in the main thing too, like what I do look for in a water bottle pocket is when it's gripped, you know, the bottle tightly. And you can see with that plastic water bottle, it's really not. I mean, there's not a lot of elasticity here. Also, a lot of the times, like if you, if you tilted your bag, if you had a two-wheeler or if you ended up wanting to go into two-wheel mode, would it fall out? That is a good question. Why don't we give it a try? Let's do it. I mean, I, I feel nervous already. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm like, ooh, like, I, whoa, okay. I mean, it's, it's better than I thought. It's like less tilt than I thought. I have a little coffee here that we used earlier. Immediately, I am nervous to put this in here because of how tall the pocket is. So I have what, no. probably like four inches of space there. And with how wide this is, it's just gonna pop that top right off. Right, and yeah. this, I would say, like if you're getting a coffee at the airport, it's probably around this size. You're walking to your gate from the TSA, or you're like putting this on and then taking it yeah. off again when you go through the scanner. Like, is it really worth it to have a drink holder for the time that you're walking around the airport? Also, when you're boarding the plane, because you're gonna want, you don't wanna get to your seat and yeah, then and have hold to everyone take up. all of this off and then put it on the seat, maybe risk something falling over just to get your suitcase either underneath the seat in front of you yeah. or in the overhead bin. So with everything in mind, would you buy this? It functions better than I thought it would once we actually got it on there, but no, I think it's too niche and really it's only useful between, you know, your gate and the TSA mm -hmm. check-in. Next up, we're keeping it cozy. Ooh, pillow, obviously. 
Don't. Or is it a blanket? Or is it both? Let's see what it is. Random Amazon find. This is a two-in-one travel pillow that can transform into a blanket, which helps keep yeah. you warm when you're traveling. It also Straight has forward. a strap so you okay. can attach it yeah. to your carry-on. Hopefully you're not <laughs> cold and wanting to take yeah. a nap, basically, I think is what it comes down yeah. to. I think with this, their intention is that it's mostly just for blanket and that you can use it as a pillow if you want to. I don't love that oh. this is separate. Oh, okay. That's very cute. So that doesn't like pack into itself or anything. Yeah, yeah. so you're just kind of this left really with keeping track of it. This really has the feel of like a, a premium airplane blanket. Here's my opinion on this. With Pack Hacker, we're all about finding versatile gear that you can use on the plane and when you get to your destination. So for me, if I want a packable, or if I want like a pillow, I'm gonna use a packable jacket. If I want a blanket, I'm just gonna layer up with like a sweatshirt or other right. layers that I wear. And then not only can I use those items on the you know one to international 14 hour plane ride or however long it is, but I can also use that stuff my whole entire trip when I get to my destination. Right. Okay, let's try it on the luggage pass through. I mean, I feel like this is just cute. Look how small that is. Merry Christmas. I'm locking this on the front D ring. Ooh, baby, that is <laughs> <Yeah>. a look. <laughs> So would you buy this? Personally, no. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna wear my hoodie or just use a packable jacket as a pillow. Crinky, crinkly, this one crunchy. Is fairly straightforward. I mean, this, I've seen this. This is the hanger, right? These portable folding travel Go hangers Texas. are amazing. They come in a set of six, and when you okay, open this them halfway, they're perfect for adults. Yeah, okay, there's like actually a little bit better. And when you fully open them, they're perfect for adult clothing. But these, the hangers I mean, have the coolest anti slip design with a stopper for tank top, or you can place a piece of clothing inside the hanger when half open to keep them from falling off throughout the day. So cool. these ones, those got really popular and then were no longer sold. And the style that's most common now is this style here. They're co they come in like a bunch of yeah. different versions. But this is another one that that same person recommends. So this does come in a 12 pack. Mm -hmm. So um, you can grab a bunch of them. You can bring as many as you want to if you want to bring like three or four extra. Um, like she mentioned, they're really great for baby clothes. If you travel with baby clothes, you want to hang those up. But I think yeah. like the perk for me is keeping like the tank tops on. So we have a couple different shirt options here. Um, I have a men's shirt and a women's shirt. And the reason I grabbed two different kinds is because women's shirts can be a little bit more, um, like less wide on the shoulders. So it does what it's doing here where it goes into the t-shirt uh, okay. sleeve. Yeah. And then over time that'll leave a bump. Okay. So with this shirt, it's light enough and you're probably gonna be hanging it up for a little while. So it's maybe not that big of a deal. Can we flip it in and have it hang? And so let's see, let's see if that works. We well, got a bump on the top now though. So no, nah. <laughs> it's just a little boink, bit boink. too. So this is a men's shirt. So it goes pretty much right to those seams. I think it's really great if you are someone who travels with clothing that needs to be hung up very specifically. Like yep. if you're traveling for a wedding or for business or mm. something, this is gonna be great, but mm -hmm. would you buy it for just regular travel? Me personally, no, but I think there's a use case here. I could see it working for people that, you know, want something like this when they're traveling. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is this a toothbrush? That would be insane. Oh, it's a lint roller. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, it feels a little cheap, but yeah, this is great. Yeah. Amazon travel and purse items I don't regret buying. This retractable lint roller. This mirror with LED lights. That's all she had to say about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Nothing it's else. That's retractable lint roller. Lint, lint roller. And she's not wrong. It yeah. is retractable. It locks into place, which is nice. I think it's super functional. Scotch Bright is a brand that's like made this. Oh, this is this. Scotch Bright? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, you know, fine. you can rely on that. So this is like a regular Scotch Bright roll. It's more about the mechanism, right? Yeah, or so the, it is a regular roll. Um, they do sell replacements. It's just like the mini size. Okay. As a frame of reference, so you can put your own. Here's a more like regular size yeah, lint roller, yeah. so you do save a good amount of space. So would you buy it? I think for me, it's a yes. I don't like having a messy lint roller anywhere, so it's nice that you can just stash it away and hide it. All right. Oh, it's a travel adapter. <gasps> USB-C and A. Okay, I feel like some just have A down the bottom yeah. that I've seen, so I don't know if this is new. Feels feels pretty nice. What What's so special about this one? Why this one? There is something that I cannot travel without, and it's this little guy right here. This is the Tassan travel adapter. Tassan. I have traveled all over the world, and I've used this six-in-one plug in every country and hotel. It's compatible with over 150 countries. Which is pretty Although standard. Although many hotels are becoming all more standard. advanced with their electrical outlets, you can't always count on it. That's why I bring my Tassan travel adapter. It is small and compact and easy for me to pack. It's got three it's USB and two USC, right. and it charges my devices and cameras quickly, which is great for a sightseer like myself. Too. This okay. is definitely like similar to a lot of other ones that we've seen. It just seems like it's kind of a private label of the other versions. We've got the one adapter. Here. I mean, this one is just, oh, it's like, oh, it's the same. And then, quite literally, the Pika. 
The Pika, yeah. Or so Epica is literally just USB-I in the bottom. That's the first thing I noticed about this one. But wow, this is exactly the one adapter, though it's smaller. And this style too, <sighs> they're just a little bit on the larger side. When yeah. we travel with adapters, we like to find something a little bit smaller. One, right. because it's easier to fit into a bag, but then also they're just more compact. That's Way that more compact. The same thing. This one's from Kickerland. This is what I traveled around the world um, with for two years. Um, you know, way smaller than this. You do lose the ports. Yep. So the benefit of this is that you don't need to really bring additional uh, charging or wall chargers or anything like that. So if you just want like one thing, so would you buy it? Me personally, no. I like to have my adapters a little bit smaller. But I think if you're like not taking a laptop and these USB ports are good for you, yeah, definitely that's all you need. I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the idea of this. I mean, it's a nice, looks like a little three-in-one thing, got a little spray vial, mm -hmm. lotion, what do we got? One of my biggest pet peeves about traveling is that hotel rooms never ever have regular hand soap. They always have the bar soap. It drives me crazy. I personally do not like using it at why all. Not? And someone just suggested that I should travel with my favorite hand soap. I don't know why I never thought of that before, but now I will never go without it. I thought yeah. that that was an interesting use case because yeah. I am not a huge fan of bar soap but you only get four of these. So mm. to use one of them for hand soap. hand soap that you could get at your destination seems a little bit silly to me. So you have these, you take them out. Um, they're all, I believe, like point seven. You can leave ounces. them in there though, right? You can leave them in there, and yeah. You can also take them out. You can, yes, you I mean, have I two like, options. It's such a cute little design though. How could you not like it? I, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I really like the design, but I wish that you could choose the type of lids that you have. Um, how about 311? I mean, you throw in this in your plastic quart size bag. I mean, that's pretty big for that. So actually fitting it into a dop kit is a little um, bit easier yeah, than nice. it seems like it would be. So, it I mean, looks nice too. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And same with, these are two uh, dop kits that we use pretty frequently. Yeah, Air and so, Roy, good. I like the design of it. It feels a little cheap. For the right person, I think this is a good buy. So would you buy it? Me personally, maybe. Oh, maybe I would. Oh, twist. So overall, which one is your favorite? I think I like the little stealth lint roller because I don't like looking at this and I think it's a nice elegant solve to just stash it away. Let us know what you think of this video down in the comments below. It's kind of new for us, it's off the cuff, and I really like presenting with Lauren, it's fun. And if we miss some of your favorite viral TikTok gear, let us know in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Bye.